Hey y'all, it's Costume Jeweler. I am in Key West, Florida, and we are going into this Salvation Army thrift store. I believe it is the probably the one and only commercial thrift store in Key West. I don't find a Goodwill here, so if y'all do know about any others that are Salvation Army or Goodwill in Key West, comment below. We're going in here looking for purses, trinkets, knickknacks, jewelry, whatnots, and doodads to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay, so make sure you hit that notification bell and click all. So you don't miss out on my live buy nows and auctions, these video uploads, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget that thumbs up for the video. Styrofoam. That's made out of the little styrofoam pieces and the noodles you can buy at the Dollar Tree. It's kind of cool. Look at the glassware and see what's here. These are cute. I like to use the words cute and beautiful, nothing else. Cute and beautiful, cute and beautiful. Mid-century modern, cute. like sterling silver amethyst probably tiger eye copper Not as much jewelry this time as there was the last time I was here. What is that? This is probably sterling silver. I sold some earrings similar. Sometimes helpful, helpful for me to zoom in and be able to see something. Ooh, look at this. So I'm going to show you this one right here. It looks like a cloisonne butterfly. The one I'm talking about is this right here. Look at this. Not sure it's sterling silver. Now, is that bone? Or is that. It's not coral. So if we can zoom in a little closer on it. Well, so I'm not sure what that is, y'all. What do y'all think that is? Looks like aluminum wire around it, so it's a pendant, but I'm not sure if that's coral or a bone. I don't see striations. I see those little nicks there in it, if that's what you call them. It might be bone. It might be coral. I'm not sure. That pendant there looks like... Um, Gosh, I'm trying to remember the name of the kind of the cartoon series. up close tree of life I like the abalone shell we 
these are pretty cool. <clears throat> Look at these made out of buttons. Should I get the abalone? I don't know. You could use that as a fish bowl, that'd be great. I used a Waterford uh, punch bowl one time as a fish bowl. I don't think I have it anymore either. I always think these are laurel birch cats. <clears throat> Usually I pack these up. This one is in pretty good condition. It has a few scratches on it, so I'm gonna pass on that one, but it's still pretty. Made in China. Milk glass, milk glass, love milk glass. <laughs> this is pretty, I think this is 1970s. Forget what they call it. Let's see. Oh, it's 1969. Y'all look at that. September 1st, 1969. 64 years old. Four dollars. I'm not sure if these are worth money or not. What do y'all think? This y'all, so fifty dollars, probably cell yeah, the idea celluloid. That's a hair collector right there with a hole in it. Can't remember why they collected hair. Here's another one. Was it to make art? Because you see a lot of artwork and things like that. So maybe you know the morning, not the morning jewelry, but the jewelry that was made out of hair. Do you think that they use that? of their deceased loved ones after it was placed in canisters or little collectors like these. If y'all know anything about hair collectors and the history of them, comment below and let us know. Part of this thrifting is learning stuff as we go. For sure. Succulent planter. Another succulent planter for a little bitty succulent. Recording picture here. Very popular. Monkey salt and pepper shaker. I always forget which one's for the salt and which one's for the shaker, the two hole or the three hole. I see some very old chairs over here, y'all. They make them still, but these look old. Y'all tell me what they are in just a second. This is really heavy. Let's 
it's like about being made out of concrete. These are the chairs I'm talking about right here, y'all. Look at these. Five dollars a piece. Five a piece. And these are old. I'm trying to see what the backs look like. Well, five dollars a piece. If I if these were where I'm living, I would buy them. These up, they're made out of shells. Kind of scared I might break something. Look how cute this is, a real starfish on it. 25. These are nice too. I wonder if these are worth anything, y'all. What do y'all think? It looks like C. Cooper. Really like those a lot. I'm not sure. C. Cooper. Victoria Little John Ceramics, four dollars. Look at this one, y'all. Is that worth money? through these lamps here. <laughs> Little Christmas section. And of course you should mix that always makes a lot of Halloween. Of 
course, Key West does have tons of chickens. And look at these sugar <clears throat> cookie jar right here. Grandpa Jones, y'all. What me on he haul? I think I think he was on a he haul. May check out a couple of purses hanging up behind the back, preferably the Dooney. There's a coach there, but I'm really interested in the Dooney. Fun to redo and decoupage. And a few more purses. This looks, mm. There she is, y'all. Been a long time no see, but Rosetti is in Key West vacationing too. She took the plane probably out before I did. Interesting abstract art. Who is that, Williams? Can't read that. Lilla. I have no idea. L I L, I think, something. I don't know what that says. Look at this mother of pearl bird picture. I think I probably would have painted that eye on versus just attaching whatever that is. You got your beach cat. Cute little cat. on wood, $20. Now we've got 
got another one here that's floral. And I love this one right here. Can't take it back with me though. This is the truth. Gotta have that inventory. No inventory, no business. No inventory, ladies, no business. He's got it all. Hmm, I wonder if his name is the costume jeweler. All right, y'all, that's it. So Salvation Army Key West, probably the only commercialized thrift store. I don't think there's a Goodwill here. And until next video, next live sale, I'll see y'all later. And don't ever forget this right here. I sure don't have an empty wagon or an empty garage. We'll see y'all later. Bye.